everyone. Welcome to the Lion's Gate Portal Spread. I just wanted to lay out a few cards and get a feel for what we can all expect during this timeline. Keep in mind that the portal actually is open from July 26th through to August 12th. You probably are already feeling the effects of it energetically. I do have uh, meditation up on YouTube right now for you that is specific to this portal. It's a meditation that you can do at any point. Um, the, actually, the meditation itself is a good meditation. It'll work for you at any point in time, but it was specifically designed for the timeline of this portal. Okay. Um, there is an informative video up as well on the portal to let you know what it's all about and some of the signs and symptoms that you might be feeling because of the portal. I have a feeling, a really strong feeling, that this is going to be a catalyst for twins coming into union or reunion. The energy is fast, it's furious, it's amazing. There's something really big on its way in. So if I ever get the sign that I can stop here. Okay, you know what? I'm going to stop. I'm going to do this a little bit different. Let's just throw some, thank you, Let's throw some cards out. Wow, death. That's a big surprise. This is a um, portal. Uh, Timeline. The portal timeline is all about transformation, growth, ex whoa, expansion. Those are too many cards. There's four here. I take three. Um, it's a time of, it feels to me like it's a time of final tweaking, if that makes any sense. It's just kind of the last of the last of the negative energies and vibes and anything blocking us from moving forward. I'm not going to do a full spread here. I just, okay, too many cards again. I just wanted to get a few cards and, and get a feel for what's actually happening here. Okay, these are the cards I wanted to show you. I asked my guides what I needed to know for today, and it blew me away, the card that came out. Oh, sorry, guys. Hang on. I've got my camera set up funky. Okay, I just had to get my camera to set up for autofocus. So look at what I got today. On path and about to realize manifestation. Look at the number. August 11. I've been seeing 8, 11, and 8, 13 <laughs> forever. 8, 13 forever, but that is a big, big number in my life because I have family members that are born on August 13th, quite a few of them, actually. I also have had people in my life whose birthdays are in different months, but their day is the 13th. I had a boyfriend whose phone number was 1300. You know, it was... <laughs> ridiculous the amount of 13 that's been in my life. Um, I decided that since it is the 8-8 portal, I'm going to get eight cards from each of two decks. I've got eight cards from the Apocalyptic. I think that's the name of the deck, the Apocalypsis deck. <laughs> Something like that. I'll be able to tell you in a couple of minutes. But Anyways, and I'm going to get eight cards from the Synchronicity Oracle.
Wow. Oops. <laughs> you know, I've been really excited around this 8-8 portal ever since I found out about it. Wow. I'm sorry, guys. I should have this. Oh, that actually makes it kind of worse for you, doesn't it? Okay. I'll give you something to look at here. How's that? <laughs> okay, so what I was saying was I have been so excited about this um, this timeline around this portal. The energy that I am feeling and I'm sensing and the messages that are coming through to me based on this portal, it's phenomenal. Seriously, there is going to be some big, big major shifts in energy and uh, everyone's situations and relationships. It's on every level. It's going to be absolutely huge. Mm. See, <laughs> they agree with me. And the cards are not saying anything different. Nothing different. I'm going to go over the cards with you. In the first place, we have death. Big surprise, right? This is all about things that are no longer serving a purpose in our life, dying and falling away, creating transition, transformation. This is the synchronicity oracle that came out on top of it big personal transformation that's what 911 represents for those of you who don't know these cards um, I've been seeing these numbers on these cards for a long time and I wanted to know what the meaning was behind them so I asked my guides what information I got from my guides is what's on these cards so about half of these cards are numbered the other half are not and so if you are already seeing 911 up till now, big personal transformation coming in. You may start seeing it after this, and now you know what it means. Second place, Five of Cups. This is all about, again, look at her. She's got her hands out. She's letting go, but doesn't want to. She wants to pull back in whatever it is that's walked away from her. She regrets letting go. Don't regret letting go of things, transforming, transitioning. It's a necessary evil to move forward on the ascension path, okay? She's still got two perfectly good cups behind her, as you can see. Don't cry over spilled milk, okay? You have so much more coming your way. And the card on top of that, your dreams reveal the answers. If you aren't dreaming crazy right now, I have been, a lot of people through this portal have been dreaming crazy you will be and they reveal answers now in this position here it's not really a position <laughs> we have the Prince of Wands you know what honestly I think this is the Knight of Wands because I think there's a princess in this deck it's new to me but the princess is the page so this has got to be the Knight of Wands. So this is very, come on camera, very fast forward moving energy. It's not impulsive like the Knight of Swords would be. It's, uh, this can represent career and business because the Wands are creativity they, they they tend to represent work and career because they are action oriented okay so it's all about action you're gonna be moving a lot and I don't necessarily mean by foot or you know physically moving some of you could be moving out of your your place of residence that's for sure but what I mean by that is you're going to get busy. Your life is going to get very busy. And the reason behind that 
is because you are moving into a time of abundance. Look at the numbers. Can you believe this? I cannot make this stuff up. 888. This is abundance in love, money, and joy. Wow. <laughs> oh, brother. Queen of Pentacles. Again, the Queen of Pentacles. Pentacles, it's, it's the cash cards. This is all about finance. It's all about, look at this, it's all about wealth and prosperity. She is the queen of prosperity. She's grounded. She's got everything. Look at her. She, she can multitask like nobody's business. Look at this woman. She's got six arms. She needs them to count all her cash. I'm telling you, everybody. We are moving into a very abundant, prosperous, happy time. Finally, spirit is working behind the scenes. Look at the number here. 11. 29 adds up to 11. I have been seeing in my head for timelines 829. Sorry, guys. 829 for quite a while now. Watch what happens the 29th of August. You'll have to let me know in comments after the 29th if, uh, if I'm right. Because that's on top of the Queen of Pentacles. That's about prosperity. Then we have the Four of Pentacles. This is all about holding back, hanging on, and it's right below the Death card. Don't hold on to anything that is no longer serving a purpose in your life. Guys, I'm sorry, I just realized you probably can't see all of these cards that well. Not that you can anyways, but and I am showing them to you, but there we go. Okay. Um, being that it's underneath the death card and the big personal transformation, this is let it go. Let it go. Don't hold on to that that no longer serves you because it's just going to slow you up. It's going to create um, stagnation. Okay? And the synchronicity oracle card on that, have faith. 111. <laughs> I have had comments from people, a lot of people that have been seeing 111 lately. Have faith. Trust that the universe, source, spirit, whatever you call it, is bringing everything to you that you want and need. You are going to be taken care of. Have faith. Know that it's it's being replaced. Whatever it is that you're letting go of, you're letting go of it because spirit has something bigger and better they want to bring into you. Make room for what you really want. Look at this. <laughs> Hope, faith, trust, enlightenment, wish fulfillment. Let it go. This is what's coming in. Look at in the background here, everyone. Your ship is on its way in. All you have to do is trust and have hope and faith and know that it is happening. Because you are at a crossroads or coming up on a crossroads and you're going to have to make a decision. You're going to have to let go of something. And if you, if you decide to let go of what it is you're being guided to let go of, wish fulfillment, everyone. Wish fulfillment. Then we have the Seven of Wands. Look at this guy. Come on, camera. There we go. Triumph. He fought the battle and he won. He stood his ground. Right? But he did it in a way that he didn't alienate himself from a bunch of people. They're still around him. They're looking up to him. It's kind of like the Six of Wands, but it's one further. So this is all about 
being triumphant and being recognized for what it is that you fight for, the, the beliefs that you have. Stand your ground. Create boundaries if you need to. Because you are moving into 5D. <laughs> wow, we are all moving into 5D. Do you get that? This is a reading about the 8-8 the 8-8 Lionsgate portal. Look at all these portals. Like I said, I can't make this stuff up. We are all moving into 5D. This portal is moving us into 5D. We are up-leveling in a big way, everybody. Big way. Look at this. In the final position here, we've got three Oracle cards. And I'll tell you right now, they are amazing. Queen of Wands. Look at this girl. She's got it all too. She's sexy. She's self-confident. She is self-assured. She knows her self-worth. She has self-respect, self-love. This lady knows how to put up boundaries and she has no issues doing so. If you don't know her worth, you aren't in her life. She's very attractive. She's a wanted woman. This is all about self-confidence, self-worth, self-love. This is something else that's coming from this portal. This is part of the um, up-leveling. Part of the ascension process. This is just one more thing on the path of ascension. Now check this out. Double time, kids. Everything is moving at twice the speed through this portal and outside of this portal. Wow. Wishes granted. We already... Sorry, guys. We already been told that. We've got the star card here. Wishes are being granted. Wish big, because whatever your wish is, it's coming true. It's going to be granted. Come on, camera, keep up. And here's the best. Your long-term relationship, see? I have such a strong feeling about the twins coming together through this portal. I'm not saying every twin couple out there that aren't in union are going to be in union after this portal, but I do believe that a lot of them will be coming into union or reunion, and those that aren't at this point in time, there is something about this portal that's going to shift you. Big personal transformation going on here. It's going to shift you and move you into a place where you are ready, but you have to do the work. You have to do the work. Let go. Where's the other one? Right here. Let go. You need to let go so you can make this decision to move forward in the direction that you need to move in. Bottom of these two decks, which is part of the overall energy now. Check this out. <laughs> Spiritual transition, like I said, we're being up-leveled. You're being asked to move through this doorway. Look what you're moving into. Look what you're moving from. Doesn't it look much better over there? You're being offered something much bigger, brighter, and better. Go for it. Go for it. Because look what's over there. Come on, camera. Ten of Cups, long-term relationships, family, love, emotional fulfillment, beauty, abundance, prosperity. It's everything we want. Everything we want. Three of Wands underneath that. The wait is over. Princess of Cups. 
That's the Page of Cups. Wow. Okay. Now, um, I am going to do an extended. I, I realize that you're not all going to go to the other side, but on the extended, what I want to do is I want to find out what it is that we can do on our end, what we need to um, do, be, think, and or feel to have <laughs> all of this that's coming our way. Change up our energy. What do we need to do? What do we need to do with this portal here to move on to what's What's waiting for us, basically? Okay, everyone, I hope this helped. I am super excited for everybody. I hope you are excited too. This is an amazing time for all of us. So, you know how to do this. If you want to go into the extended, click the link below. We'll go into my website. We'll find out what exactly it is we have to do to move through this and gain what it is that's waiting for us on the other side. Thank you so much, everyone, for viewing, liking, sharing, subscribing. I truly appreciate it. I want to thank everyone for commenting. I love reading your comments. Thank you for supporting me in the extendeds and the private readings. I love you guys. I'll see you on the other side or I'll see you next time.